Alrighty, back with another course for you and round for you. We are at Old Day. Just kidding. Old Stonewall Golf Club. Looks like a fun one. Looks like a pretty straightforward back and forth uh, type layout. <laughs> we'll start off with a par 5. Some pretty narrow fairways. You get some room, however, uh, before you run into some trees. And it looks like quite a few bunkers here. I like the sloping elevations. Maybe a lynx style type setup. Here at Old, uh, old Stonewall. That was a bad shot. A little flippy first one. Maybe a tight back based on whatever the position that was. And 118 in to this par 5 and tugging it left. Out of the bunker for 20 yards now. And pretty good, drew that up. Alright, par 4, we're playing... Oh my gosh, I can't even tell what kind it is because it's a rock. Usually just play the whites, so we're just going to assume this is the whites. The only time I don't play the whites is if the white tees are super short for some reason. Like there's a course called Hogan's Park, and the white tees on that course are... Uh, one in front of the ladies tee and then there's the ladies tee and then there's another tee and then there's a blue and then there's a black so usually it's like championship and then blue or you know you're good or you're uh, they usually play the blues for like a tournament or something like that and then the black one is like your pros or whatever and then uh I don't want to play the one in front of that, where it's like, you're just a weekender who owns a golf sim. And so I usually pick that as the white, but some of these courses, you never know. Uh, it's always good to check the yardage, um, especially after this most recent update. This uh, round isn't on it, but version 2.0.3.2, I think. Um, that one has come and when I go to the match settings I <laughs> will be on like junior or the par 3 and so if I was just used to clicking go that probably wouldn't be the best thing for me alright pretty good drive there and 130 to a nasty little green on a peninsula Tried to flight it down and kind of just shoot it at the hole. And it ends up pretty good. Right where we wanted it. Next hole has trees all along the left and then water all along the right. And so naturally you want to chunk it about halfway. You heard it here first. I didn't hit that good either. Yikes, not making solid contact here early at Old Stonewall, but somehow managing to still be even. And again, another decent little shot. We are going to get a bogey on that one, though. And head to plus one. So this course, uh, what I like about it, A, you can see the little stone wall over the <laughs> left, and there's a lot of these rock barriers um, hitting home the, the theme. But we got kind of like island-like um, fairways and greens and it's uh, it, it's a really interesting course it's one of the better um, interesting layouts when um, you start getting around this track it's back and forth and uh, you have to hit this club you can't just pound driver and this green is this shape and this greens over water and that was a bad approach by me to get my second bogey in a row. And now we have 132 yards. Everything just looks kind of over the top and left on video. And it's easy to see while I'm editing and talking. But uh, while you're playing...
playing, it's hard to just sometimes tell why I'm going left, but when you chip in for a birdie, you stop worrying about stuff like that. The eighth <laughs> brings a 330 yard par four with kind of a weird angle. We want this to slow down. Oh yeah, takes a nice little right hand turn and settles 66 yards away from the pin, front pin location. <laughs> Trying to get some spin on this. Oh yeah. 66 yards away and you hit it 67 yards away. You get a birdie. Followed up by a shortish par five that I spray the drive to the right and nip a tree. We still might have a chance to run it up close here. Um, the club I want to hit for... Looks like it's just the layup if I'm grabbing that. Oh. Didn't quite aim that right and then hit a branch. Oh no. Now trying to find a hundred. Another tree in the way. Luckily it's a par 5 and that's just going to be a normal par for a kind of interesting tree trouble. So even through the front. Tenth hole comes. And it's a longer par 4, 414. Not a good idea to hit it into a bunker. Seventy yard approach shot, another kind of yanked left hooded shot. That seems to be the theme of the front nine is the misses are all turn that face over and hit it left. And the theme continues. Hopefully not out of bounds up there. Get a good little kick. And we actually have an okay angle at the... Oh no, this isn't the hole. We have an okay angle to get it back in the fairway. And I didn't even do that correctly. Remember, this is a par 4, so this is now uh, trying to get 90 yards to a 10-foot circle in order to get a par and not able to do so. Good little stop and spin, though. So we're on hole 12. Now... Old stone wall starts kind of climbing up this mountain, which is cool. You get these uh, drop-offs, like look at this one right in front of me that I'm headed towards. Slow down. Okay, holds up about 154. Behind shot over some trees. Tried to hit it. That was the right like idea, but you could see me just kind of get handsy with it instead of really powering through that. Um, to actually get the ball speed I needed to get it back there. So quickly at plus three through 12 after being uh, even through nine. So we are on a bogey streak here. A short par four, hopefully going to end that. I mean, if you actually went and played this course, these this elevation right here would be intense. This is... Seven, eight yards uphill. Just hits the front of the fringe and doesn't do anything. Creeps into the gimme circle. <laughs> Saves par, ends the bogey streak. Let's get a good par three here. 165 down the hill. Kind of a face open, kind of slicey. Didn't quite get the distance right either. A little long. <laughs> Trying to find 11 yards and got it in.
Heading to the 15th hole, still at plus three so far. Uh, the round looking pretty good. This one, another kind of chunky swing. Yeah, I'm not. Not getting the most amazing contact. That one creeps in. Just kind of getting away with a few here late on the back nine. Really cool hole here. Kind of a green <laughs> with trees on the left, bunkers on the right, uh, fairway. And then, uh, uh oh. Slow down. Oh, geez. oh, yeah, I remember this. Okay, so now I'm trying to hit a flop shot out of here. And it goes like six inches up the hill. But now I think I actually can hit a flop shot out of here. And so this is shot number three. And I hit it into a gorge. Which ends up just on the outside of the line for out of bounds. So we play it. And that does that. And now we are 37 away hitting our fifth shot make it and we get a bogey and we barely get it into the circle so a really tough 16th hole there that equates to a triple bogey and our score doubles very quickly this drive goes right but 125 6 uphill a little bit left on the lie and didn't compensate for any of that. Left short and thin. A 15 yard chip saves par here. And we head to the 18th. Make sure to comment below and tell me what you think about old Stonewall. I think that I can definitely play better here and I can definitely play worse here as well. Uh, final drive of the day, getting the backspin down a little bit and getting some roll out, which is nice. And leaving 70. Pretty good contact there, finally. And a well deserved birdie to end. Alright. So 75 there at Old Stonewall. Let me know what you guys think about this one, and if you've played it, let me know what you've shot. Make sure to like and subscribe. Tons and tons of content coming every day.